the union budget for the year 23-24. Honorable Speaker, sir, I was really surprised when I was doing the calculation, the total borrowings, the total borrowings of the government of India, government of India, the total borrowings, per day borrowings, sir, per day, is 4,895.38 crores. 4,895.38 crores per day they are borrowing. And the government of India is paying an interest. The government of India is paying per day interest of 2,958.82 crores per day. And still, still, they talk about Telangana government's borrowings. It is, I, I would say it is, it is really surprising. And I would, I would like to come on record and say that. Okay, they are stopping the progress and the development of the Telangana state by not giving the due share of the Telangana state, I would say. We have ended up in losing, sir. The reason why I, I am mentioning this is that, sir, I was the one in this house who was against GST, sir. Sir, earlier we had so much of taxes and all which used to come to state. But after GST, sir, everything is going to them. What is the states getting, sir? And that too, many a times, there is a delay in that. And going further ahead, sir, the finance minister has also Lamented the state, the central government has broken the tradition of implementing in total the recommendation of the Finance Commission. By not accepting these recommendations, the central government denied Telangana its due share in Finance Commission's grants also, sir. Sir, I would like to point out here that the state share in devolution of central taxes fixed by the 15th Finance Commission is quite low. And this itself is the cause of gross injustice to the Telangana, sir. When the United Andhra Pradesh was reorganized with the formation of Telangana state, the undivided state share in central devolution has been in proportion to its population and other indices. And now, Telangana share in the central devolution of union, ta union taxes and duties is only 2.102 compared to the residual AP share of 4.047, sir. So this is a very important point, sir. Sir, under the AP Reorganize Reorganization Act, the assets and liability of the state and state public undertakings are to be divided in the ratio of 58 and 42, sir. That is 58% of AP and 42% of Telangana, sir. This is well clearly mentioned in AP Reorganization Act, sir. Sir, in 2021 and 2022, Telangana got central devolution of Rs. 17,496 against the AP share of Rs. 33,376 crores. Sir, in, tw in the year 22 and 23, sir, Telangana received Rs. 19,668 crores against AP's figure of 38,177 crores. In the next financial year, that is 23 and 24, Telangana is to be provided rupees 21,471 crores as central devolution against AP share of rupees 41,338 crores. Sir, this means that the Telangana is getting only. Sir, this is my observation and I do all my research before saying anything. But at the same time, sir, through you, I would request the government to correct me if I am wrong, sir. Sir, the figures which I have just read out, this means that Telangana is getting only 50% of what AP is receiving under central devolution. And it is not in the ratio of 40 to 58, sir. It is not in the ratio of 40 to 58 percent as stipulated under the Re AP Reorganization Act. Moreover, the AP is getting post-devolution revenues deficit grant from the central government. I would like to ask those people 
who are championing for government of india and who are trying to divide the telangana people by their provocative speeches and divisional politics instead of doing such politics why don't you go and fight for this injustice which is being done to state of telangana this would be the real service if you fight and get back the funds which are the rightful funds of the state of telangana rather than dividing the people rather than you know mixing all venom in the minds and high, ha, hearts and thoughts of the people sir in other words telangana is getting only one third share sir one third share and residuary ap is receiving two thirds of the share of central devolution compared to what undivided ap was getting as its share this is the typical example of the grave financial injustice done to telangana by the central government sir sir i may recall that when the 14th and 15th finance commission chairman and members has visited visited the state in september 2014 and february 2019 the mam has made a representation to them seeking higher devolution of central tax share grants demand revenues deficit grants for telangana state in view of its special and specific needs as a new state we have given a representation sir however both before the 14th and 15th finance commission telangana government has represented memorandum claiming that the state would be a revenue surplus state would be a revenue surplus state and it would not need any revenue deficit grant if i am wrong i may be corrected on this also sir on the other hand residuary had sought revenue deficit grant from both the finance commission sir going further ahead sir sir i would like the finance minister saab to tell us during the last nine financial years in formation of telangana state from 2014 15 to 22 23 how many times did the state ended the financial year with revenue surplus how many years sir so far nine state budgets were presented projecting revenue surplus but each time the state ended up with revenue deficit instead of revenue surplus this is my research this is my findings this is what my team has provided and i have gone through all the details never never sir the state has been revenue surplus sir. each time the state ended up with revenue de deficit instead of being revenue surplus sir the 16 finance commission is being constituted by central government now to recommend on the devolution of central taxes and duties over a five years period i would request the finance minister saab to make an honest assessment on state revenues so that the state can seek grants to fill the revenue deficit this is an important point sir sir we need sir we need to have an honest assessment sir this is why i am requesting this finance minister saab sir we need an honest assessment of the state revenues so that the state can seek grants to fulfill the revenue deficit sir so despite the poor track record of central government in providing central tax devolution and grant in aid to telangana the state finance minister exude op op optimism and projects ambitious figures about devolution of taxes and central grants in aid the shortfall in actual devolution and of central taxes and grant in aid compared to the budget estimate is the main cause of revenue deficit sir that is the main cause of revenue de deficit of the state it is also the main cause for the shortfall in actual expenditure of the state government compared to budget estimate year after year if i am wrong i may be corrected in this sir for assistance the finance minister saab has projected the central grants and aid to be rupees 41259 crores in next next financial year that is 2324 in the current year budget estimate the central grants and aid was 
rupees 41,002 crores. But the revised estimate is rupees 30,250 crores. Honorable Speaker, sir, it is to be noted that in the financial year 21-22, the budget estimate central grants and aid was rupees 38,669 crores. The revised estimate was rupees 28,669 crores. But the actual state grant in aid received by the state was only 8,619 crore. That is only 22% of budget estimate. 